Hey there, rubber dubs. So, wait, that's not me. Uh, what's up, guys? Classy Metal here. Um, I have got, I guess, uh, buckle yourselves in. This could be a long video. I've got an unboxing video for you guys. I've already opened it, so not technically an unboxing video. Uh, this is probably one of the largest grab bags that I've ever done on this channel. Uh, before I get into this, if you haven't entered my giveaway, you have about six days left to get in on that. I'm ending it on the 20th. It is a huge giveaway. You're going to hate yourself if you miss out. My beanie's all messed up. I'll take it off. Um, as I said, it's ending on the 20th. If you haven't entered, go on and do that. As I said, you'll be sad if you miss out on it because there's quite a bit of good stuff. I will link it up in the description. So definitely get in on that if you haven't already. Uh, what I have for you guys today is a 40 CD grab bag from Metallic Media. This uh, was slated as a, a mixture of Death, Doom, Black, Thrash, a little bit, any kind of metal really is what you could get in this. I've already opened it, as I said. Show that all the CDs are out, tons of packing material. Uh, to be 40 CDs, I was a bit worried that some of them, because they were all shipped in, in jewel cases, so I was a bit worried that... Uh, there was going to be some damage and that type of stuff. And I have to give them credit. They they packaged these up very nicely because I, I think out of the 40, I think there were two CDs with jewel cases cracked that I noticed when I was pulling them out. There might have been some more, but that was the only two. Haven't really gone through them. I just pulled them out of the box to get ready for this video because I didn't want to struggle with unpacking it. Um, I did notice right off the bat that there were several CDs that I already own. But when you have a collection like that behind me, and you do a large uh, grab bag like this, there's a strong chance that you're going to get stuff that you already have. Plus, I order from Metallic Media quite often, so that is another reason why. A lot of this stuff is uh, kind of underground stuff. There was a lot of stuff in here that I'm not familiar with, but I'm going to quit rambling, and I'm going to get into this. Uh, before I get into the CDs, they threw in some posters, too, which uh, weren't listed in the listing, so it was kind of neat that they threw these in there. This is a uh, Gin Gloth with, uh, I don't even know what this album it may just be a self-titled album. Looks to be some pretty brutal stuff. The uh, poster is kind of rolled up, so I don't know how well you can make that out. Not going to spend a ton of time on that poster. There's a couple more in here. We have uh, Pig Company. And this is on Brute Productions. Looks to be some uh, brutal death metal or grindcore. Some of that... Uh, yeah, it's like a, just a promotional band photo there or something. And then we have uh, another one from Brute, and I do not, I can't read the uh, the name of that band. And the name of the album is The Mask of Sanity, but I'm not sure if anybody knows that uh, logo. Uh, Death, Metal, Luke, Death Metal fan, get on that. Tell me what that poster is for. They threw in three extra CDs in this as well that were just kind of either promos or in little sleeves. Uh, the first one was uh, Orphan Project, Spooning Out the Sea. This is a, uh advanced promotional copy. It's just the CD. I don't know anything about that. So it's on Ne <clears throat> Plus Ultra Music from 2009. So I have, I have no idea what that is. Uh, next up, we have uh, Tormund Max with uh, The Problem of Pain Part 1. It's a three-track promotional CD. Uh, kind of straightforward heavy metal, Christian heavy metal. I own a little bit from Tormund Max. It's a pretty pretty decent project, pretty decent uh, straightforward heavy metal. And then uh, MP, I think this says MPT and uh, with Ale Nada. It could be MPJ. I'm not, I can't. Can't really make out the uh, the logo on this. This is hand numbered, actually. This is a uh, number fifty-seven out of one hundred and ten copies. So I don't know. I don't know if the camera will pick that up where it's a uh, hand numbered. So that's pretty neat. I, I like I said, I don't know anything about this uh, this banner project. So I'm looking forward to listen to that. As I said, there's quite a bit of stuff in here that I wasn't super familiar with that I'm going to show. There's some stuff in here that's some fantastic stuff that I already own, unfortunately. That's the first thing I want to show. Ice Alert with Isolated Soul. Fantastic atmospheric black metal. Very dark atmospheric style black metal on uh, Metal Throne Productions. I love this album. Listen to it quite often uh, if you haven't checked this out. I definitely uh, 
recommend this. I am sending uh, Troy, my buddy Troy, uh, Metal Kid here on YouTube. I'm sending him a package probably uh, tomorrow, sometime very soon. I think I'm going to throw this in there too because I think he'll enjoy that. So I don't have anywhere to put this stuff. Got 40 CDs to stack, and I didn't plan very well where to stack these. Uh, next up, we have a, a band that I, I got in a previous uh, black metal grab bag through Metallic Media, and uh, I enjoyed that album. This is a, a different release from that band, and um, I cannot, I'm going to butcher this because it's just G-R-R-R-M-B-A, and uh, yeah, pretty good uh, black metal. This is also hand numbered. This is a 95 out of 300, and this is on NGC Produ Productions. Has uh, two, uh, looks like two EPs or two demos on this, uh, or at least two parts of this album. It's, called, it, it, this, it's Eminent and Coalescence are the two different uh, parts of this album. So, looking forward to checking that out. Here's another one that I already had. This is Exile with uh, Hate Night, another strong black metal release. This uh, entire thing is not going to be black metal. As I said, it's got a little bit of everything. So, uh, Next up, we have Empire's Darkness with uh, Poser's Annihilator. This looks to be black metal. Look at him pointing the gun at the, uh, I guess at the Poser with the corpse paint. I don't know. But uh, looks to be black metal. I could be wrong on that. But I, I, I would guess, I would guess that that's what this is. So we'll check that out soon. Looking forward to checking that one out. Uh, one that I that I get all the time. Uh, this is Polish, uh, I guess, unblack metal. Uh, this is El Gabor with War. This is not a bad album, but I already own a copy, and I constantly get this. Uh, it seems like it's in all kinds of grab bags everywhere. Fantastic release. Uh, I don't I don't knock it just because it's unblack. I, I like some unblack metal just as much as black metal. So I know uh, some people. We'll disagree with that. That's, I mean, that's cool. You're, you're entitled to what you believe. Uh, next up, we have another release from uh, El Gabor. This is a uh, Repent or Perish. This is one I do not own, so finally getting into some, some stuff that uh, I'm glad to add to the collection now. I'm trying to keep separate stacks for the stuff that I don't own and the stuff that I do own. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff that's duplicates. Uh, next up, we have some Doom. This is uh, Zoroaster with their self-titled. This is also one that uh, that I already own. This is uh, released on Southern Lord, North America, and uh, Battle Command. I guess a split label release on this. Pretty solid Doom metal type stuff. Pretty good. Uh, next up, we have some more Doom. And this is one that I was actually uh, pretty excited to see in this as well. I own the, their first EP, and I believe this is a... Uh, their second and only other release. This is a Wizard's Beard with four tired Undertakers. I have their first release entitled uh, "Pure." I think it's a uh, "Pure Filth" or something, something along those lines. And it it's very fitting because they're just a filthy, grimy, uh, sludgy sound to this. And I haven't heard this release, but I'm talking about the "Pure Filth" release. And I'm definitely excited about giving the uh, four tired Undertakers release a listen on that. Uh, next up. I have stuff falling off uh, out of nowhere just falling on me, so it's kind of crazy. Uh, next up, this has to be uh, this has to be black metal. This was released in 2018. This is a uh, Vorkuta, and uh, the name of this release is Where Still Darkness Dwells. Very dark looking stuff. Looks right up right up my alley. It's pretty badass. I guess I got to stick with the uh, black metal werewolf theme going on on this so definitely looking forward to checking that one out uh next up uh this looks to be more black metal um i maybe they recognize my name on the order because I, I order black metal grab bags of black metal uh pretty exclusively at this point I, occasionally i do death metal grab bags but I, I order a ton of black metal through metallic media so maybe they uh catered this towards me a little bit uh next up we have i am going to butcher this Venino with a De Poi de More. And I apologize if that's wrong. As I said, there's going to be a ton of stuff in here that I don't know. I, one good thing about Metallic Media is I find new bands through these grab bags all the time. 
Uh, I find some very underground stuff that I never would have found or even bothered listening to otherwise. And I found some stuff that I've just, it's become some of the top spins and top plays in my collection uh, just through these grab bags. So I'm definitely stoked to try some of this new stuff out. Uh, this next one looks to be a four-way split. Uh, it just says Grinding Syndicate. I cannot read any of the uh, any of the four bands there uh, on the back. Okay, they have them listed on the back of Cocophonia, Gibbed, Multiplex, and Anarchus. And, uh, yeah, it says, so I'm, I'm assuming this is a four-way grindcore split. One thing that always uh, irks me about a lot of grab bags is when you just get tons of split albums in that. Uh, nothing wrong with splits from time to time, but I don't, they're not my favorite part. I, I enjoy one, one, especially on CD, splits on vinyl and uh, on, uh, seven inches and stuff you can flip it over so you're not having the, i don't know on cd I, I prefer just one band all the way through i don't know if that makes sense i don't know if anybody else in the world even feels that way but that's just just my two cents uh next up it looks like we have some brutal death metal this is a uh, human butchery with psychotic abduction that looks i don't know how well you can see it through the plastic but that looks uh like some just nasty brutal stuff it's on a in <clears throat> inframundo records uh X Reviews and Micklin Productions, I guess, a three-way uh, label split there, so three-way release. Uh, next up, we have another one that I already own. This is a, uh, a split between Sad and Domos, and uh, the name of this is Guided by the Chance from the Other Side. Pretty, uh, pretty solid black metal split here. The Sad portion of this is uh, fantastic, amazing stuff. This is another one that I might send Troy. I think Troy might might dig this pretty well so keep on going uh, next up we have subject with inevitable inevitable inadmittable unexcelled looks to be death metal could be wrong on that as I said it could be anything this is a uh, just a, a wide open grab bag you, you don't know what you're gonna get in this so they have a uh, separate grab bags for just black metal. They don't have them this big for a specific genre, but they have smaller grab bags just for black metal, death metal. Then they have one that's kind of doomed, uh, like an all genre, kind of like this. So uh, if it's something that you're looking into, at the time of making this video, I think they have one of these uh, 40 CD grab bags left. I will link that up in the description as well in case uh, some one of you guys wants to pick that up. If you see something you like and you like uh, finding new stuff like I do, you can check it out and. and and roll the dice and try to get one yourself. Uh, next up, we have Sangrina with Hunter. And uh, I'm assuming this is probably death metal as well. This is on Dar's, <clears throat> Dar's Amaticus Records. I could be wrong. Uh, it has a death metal look just from the uh, the label. So I don't know. But another new one for me to check out. Uh, next up, we have some black metal. This was actually a pretty phenomenal release. I already own this one too, unfortunately. Uh, this is Cope with the Cured But Not Healed. And it looks pretty neat with the uh, the, the the rings there. The I don't forgot what they're called, but when you inside of a tree stump or a tree when you Yeah. Uh, next up we have Nadir with the sixth extinction. Um, I'm wondering if this is Nadir from the band Sad that I just showed. Uh, I know that there's the member it's the name of one of the members of the of that project. So I'm wondering if this is a solo. Uh, it has a very uh, black metal look to this, and it's on uh, Grim Distribution and NGC Productions. So I'm guessing it might be the same uh, Nadir. Uh, Nadir. So if so, I'm definitely looking forward to checking that out. Uh, next up is another one that I already own. This is uh, some pretty weird uh, black metal. It has a uh, some ambience to this, some atmospheric stuff going on in, as well. This is a Nagarum with Homo Maleficus. Yeah, lots of uh, NGC productions in this uh, in this grab bag. This was also an NGC Grim distribution split. Came out uh, 2017. Pretty solid stuff. As I said, it's, it's a little weird. It has some some weird stuff going on, almost some industrial stuff going on with the black metal at times, but but still a, a, a good listen nonetheless. Uh, next up, we have uh, Mordian with Under the Black Frost on this one already as well. I believe this is a uh, 
a one person project. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking it's a one person female project. If if my memory's serving me correct, I know I own this release and I enjoy it quite a bit. But uh, it's been a, it's been a while since I've listened to this. This was released on Metal Throne. Usually, if you see that Metal Throne Productions logo, you know you're getting some pretty good stuff. Uh, another one already on this one as well. Uh, this is Mare Erythrium with a uh, Ophite. Yeah, I butchered that. This is another uh, has some black metal going on in this, but I I don't like uh, labeling this as black metal. This one also has some kind of weird stuff going on with it as well. It's hand numbered, one seventy eight out of three hundred. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. It did for like two seconds. There we go. But just have to take my word for it. One seventy eight out of three hundred. That it has a lot of black metal elements on this. Has some kind of hippie hipster type stuff going on with it as well i'm i'm kind of torn on that album uh next up we have some uh i guess you want to call this war metal black metal black and death metal um it's pretty solid stuff i already own this as well unfortunately i think troy would like this so probably gonna send this to him as well this is a uh, I'm, I'm going to butcher uh this band name and uh as i said i even own this and and i'm going to butcher Istidraw, I believe is uh, how you pronounce that, with 24 years of blasphemous supremacy, 1993 to 2017. This was released last year. As I said, it's got that war metal stuff going on. Uh, very dark, nasty, dirty, blackened, blackened stuff there. Uh, this is one I have no idea what this is. This is Donna Calavera. I'm assuming it's 42. I don't I don't know. This one, I'm, I'm completely lost on this something brand new for me to check out may love it may hate it never know 16 minutes in and we're not even as i said this was going to be a long video uh next up this one looks very interesting to me this is one i'm definitely looking forward to checking out uh this is um don <laughs> don tesco with uh we don't fear your god your god but the artwork alone on this has me wanting to check this out so definitely looking forward Wish I would have brought me something to drink while I did this video. I didn't plan this out very well. I knew good and well that this was going to be a long video, but what can you do at this point? Next up, I'm stuck together there. Um, I have the name of this album is entitled Roach Stomper, and uh, the, I'm assuming the name of this band is Karch. Carcharodon, Carcharodon, yeah, Carchar, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna butcher that. The artwork looks interesting. Roach Stomper makes me think it's some kind of stoner doom, but I have no idea. I have no, no idea what to expect from this at all. When I look at the uh, band members, it doesn't look. I don't, man. I I don't know. I don't know what to expect from this one at all. So. Next up are two albums from the same band, and uh, there are a little. There's a little promo pack for the band in this as well. Um, the name of the band is Broken Down. It says uh, this is heavy, this is metal, this is groovy, this is industrial. So I don't know. I don't know what to expect from this. Kind of has that uh, mainstream kind of feel going on with this. Uh, we have Broken Down with the Other Shore. said I don't know this is going to be another completely new listen but uh, looking forward to checking this one out sorry I don't know more about something fell out like a sticker fell out of this sorry I don't know more about some of these but as I said uh, metallic media has a way of uh, of giving me stuff that I've never heard of they they have so much underground stuff going on that uh, you're going to find some new stuff that, like I said, you would have never heard of before. And then sometimes the stuff is so good that you're glad that you, you pulled the trigger on it and then gave it a chance. Uh, next up, we have Broken Down with First Spit. And uh, this one's still sealed, so I can't get into it. Just a little digi pack. So looking forward to checking those out. Uh, next up, we have uh, Ripping Organs versus Malignant Defecation Split. And uh, it says, oh my gore. So I'm assuming this is gore grind. 
has a very gore grind feel to it. Next up, we have Rotten Town with Victims of Nothing. Uh, looks to be some female fronted. Almost, I, I'm assuming this probably has a, a thrash vibe going on just from the uh, the back. I could be wrong on that, but just from the look of the logo, I don't know. It has me intrigued. So give that one a listen as well. We have one more stack. 20 minutes in, and we got those left. Uh, next up is another one that I already own. Unfortunately, this is a uh, Black Rock with the Mighty Sacrifice. Kind of, it's a it's a very new album. I think this came out uh 2017. I'm wanting to say I could be wrong. I don't see a date on this. It's on uh, Metal Throne Productions. And it has that kind of black and speed metal type stuff going on that was so popular in the uh, the early 90s and uh, I, I guess in the early 90s. And it and it's definitely pays homage. They do that very well in this. Uh, pretty solid stuff. So, uh, next up is one that got cracked in transit. It's one I haven't seen the other one. I may have passed it already. It's very dark. I, this has to be black metal. Um, it says wolves, elitism, speech, and I cannot read the uh, the band name on this at all. So, this one's just going to be a surprise, as you can see. Maybe you can see. I don't know how dark this, that is. It's on Black Plague Records. This was released in 2018. So, brand new stuff. There's been some pretty new stuff in this. I've been a, a bit surprised at how much actual new stuff is in this. As you can see how dark that art that artwork is. I, I, I don't know how I'm going to find out uh, who the band is or anything on that. I, I don't know. Uh, next up, we have Vaginal Anomalies and Rotten Blood Split with Rotten Vaginal Gore. <laughs> looks to be more gore, grind, more gore grind. And it looks pretty nasty. Uh, next up, we have Ordeal. It looks to be self-titled. Uh, this is on Metal Throne, so I'm assuming this is black metal as well. Could be wrong on that, but it has that definite black metal vibe going on to me. So this is another one that I'm, I'm actually excited to uh, look at. It's, uh, it's Metal Throne along with Kill Yourself Productions. So I'm assuming this this could be some depressive style black metal, which would be A-OK -okay with me. Definitely uh, something I would dig if that is the case. Next up, we have uh, Necrotomy with Inhuman Mankind. So, I mean, this is uh, death metal. I have a ton of stuff. Despite all the duplicates that I got in this, I still have a ton of stuff to, to, uh, to listen to and kind of wade through and see what I want to keep and like out of this. Uh, next up, we have The Profane with Raw Sessions Volume 1. This is on uh, Covenant Productions and Inframundo, Inframundo Records. So, don't know anything about this one either. Uh, next up, we have Orgasmo de Porco with Useless. So I'm assuming this is probably more grind type stuff. Pretty positive, just from the uh, the logo and the looks. Probably that. Uh, and another one from the same band. So I hope I like. I hope I like that. Uh, Orgasmo de Porco with my mind is a mess. And they're wearing anthrax and stuff. Man, these I don't I don't think they know what they. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to, now. I'm 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 kind of I'm kind of lost. I don't know what to expect from this. I had my mind made up that it was uh going to be grind of some sort, but now I have no idea. Uh, next up, we have uh, I'm going to butcher this. Tom Hughes with tail teal. 
definitely not American. Um, it's on More Hate Productions and Red Truth Records. Looks like it came out in. I can't read the uh, the the writing on the bottom. It's so tiny. 2016 maybe. Looks uh definitely looks like something that would wind up on one of my collages at, at the end of the week. So I'm definitely uh, looking forward to giving this a spin. This definitely looks like something that uh, I could be into. This uh, case is not cooperating though. It's not broken, so I don't know why it's not wanting to stay together. There we go. We're almost done, guys. I know this video is dragging on and on and on. Uh, next up, we have uh, Toxical with Black Sheep. That looks thrashy to me. Could be wrong, but it has a very thrash looking logo. And then the last two are both from the same band. This is Surter, and uh, the first one is World of Doom. So I'm wondering if this is Doom Metal. I like the artwork on that, so definitely looking forward to. Checking that out. Apparently, this is out of France, and it's on Altsphere, a label that I'm not familiar with. But I am assuming this is Doom. If I was a if I was a betting man, then we have Surter with a Pulvis a Umbra, and I, I really like their artworks. I like their choice of artworks. If the artwork is any indication. Of the music then I'm probably gonna enjoy this as well and it, it definitely has it has to be doomed just from uh, the artwork that we have going with this stuff I definitely think that's some doom but there we have it uh, 40 CD grab bag and actually 43 and uh, a few posters as well so uh, excited to check out like I said it's a ton of new stuff to me uh, looking forward to checking this out and uh, if there was a band that you couldn't make out or something uh, let me know and I will try to to I uh, guess in the comments let me know and I will try to straighten that out for you if there's something you wanted to check out in this uh, that's all I've got for this video got some more stuff on the way should be showing that pretty soon uh, as always thank you guys for watching thanks for subscribing get in on that giveaway I have going uh, stay classy stay metal and I will see you all very very soon